Oh my god, they're shooting at each other. All true station for all true station for 2627 South 17th Street, 2627 South 17th Street. We have shots fired, one female down. Get back here. Get back. Oh shit. Cop shot. When it was over, a Grand Forks police officer wound up being shot and killed. A Grand Forks County Sheriff's deputy shot and wounded the suspect wounded. And a woman at the scene also shot and killed. Names will be released today. Deputies of the Grand Forks County Sheriff's Office attempted to serve an eviction-related paperwork upon Salama Q. Pendleton, 41-year-old resident of this address in apartment number 303. During this service attempt, Salama Pendleton initiated gunfire against deputies on scene. The two deputies called for emergency assistance and officers from multiple agencies, including the Grand Forks Police Department, responded. ...states that during the incident that ensued, two Grand Forks Sheriff's Office deputies, two Grand Forks PD officers, and Mr. Pendleton and a female were all in the apartment. During the course of this incident, Mr. Pendleton received gunfire injuries and was transported and was being treated at Old True Hospital. The female occupant received fatal gunfire injuries. The Grand Forks County Sheriff's Office deputy received non-threatening gunfire injuries and is in stable condition at all true. Unfortunately, one Grand Forks PD officer received fatal gunfire injuries and did not survive. I want you to know that not only did the Grand Forks Police Department lose an officer, the city of Grand Forks lost a community member. The Grand Forks Sheriff's Office will never be the same based upon the injuries to their deputy and what he witnessed as our officer suffered his fatal injuries. Remember, it is not how this officer died, it is how this officer lived that made him a true hero. I would like to close in saying, please keep the officer's family in your thoughts and prayers and keep all law enforcement officers families in your thoughts and prayers as they continuously and tirelessly go out and do the job right now grand forks police officers even after losing one of their own are on the street protecting the citizens of grand forks and i think that's something that i should be grateful for and the entire citizenry should be grateful for much more on this tragic turn of events in Grand Forks later today. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.